My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I have been on a roll. I'm coming up with some incredible, incredible vehicles. Like every day, I'm like, oh, there's my new favorite. Well, guess what? This is my favorite today. The color, first of all. Anyone who just walks by and says, wow, look at the color on that truck. But it is a meticulous nut and bolt body off frame restoration. Only 750 miles on it since it's been done. Uh, all the great upgrades, disc brakes at all four wheels, air condition, overdrive. And it's nice, nice, nice. I can't wait to tell you all about it. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all the specs, study the pictures top to bottom, and that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars, and they're all for sale at volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, it's my pleasure to take you for a spin in this 1969 Chevy C10 pick'em up truck. I'm going to cheat on this one. There's so much to tell you about the underside. I'm going to look at my notes. But the body was off the frame. The entire chassis was restored. It's smooth, semi-gloss black. The bottom of the truck is all clean metal, and it was prepped and then sprayed with like a black, uh, like a bed liner or chip guard paint. So it was nice and durable. But looking up at the motor, I mean, it looks new. Uh, it has a high torque starter. It has an aluminum uh, finned flywheel cover. It's a TCI 700R4 overdrive automatic with the aluminum finned matching pan. Uh, it's got a 2500 stall. It's got a three and a half inch aluminum drive shaft uh, going to the rear end, all new U joints and everything, of course. It's a brand new DTS 12 volt rear end with 373 true track uh, posi gears in it, new axles. I mean, it's all new, not rebuilt, but it's new stuff. It has a nice aluminum uh, cover on the back of that. It has a lowered suspension, you know, lowered springs, QA1 gas shocks at all four corners. And of course, all the suspension and steering is completely rebuilt. It has upgraded trailing arms in back. It has an upgraded pan hard bar in the back. The disc brakes are drilled and slotted. They're nice big uh, rotors. It's SSBC red calipers. They're two piston in front, three piston in back. It's got a nice Flowmaster exhaust system. Looks good, sounds even better. Uh, the fuel tank is custom made. It's either stainless or aluminum, but it's a custom made tank. Uh, it's got electric fuel pump. The whole fuel system is top of the line. The, the lines, the fittings, uh, all of that is really good. So actually, I think I got through it without uh, going to my notes. But underneath is amazing. Down to the nuts and bolts and clips and everything under there is completely like new. The body is amazing. Uh, this truck is from South Carolina. It was all professionally restored. It's straight, it's smooth, there's no rust, there's no damage. And this color is called, it's a PPG paint. It's called Deep Atlantic Blue, and it has a pearl clear coat. And it's metal flake. The metal flake's all laid out evenly. There's no surprises if you buy this truck, no mismatch colors, no cracking, no shrinking. It's just all beautiful paint. And then all of the trim is restored down to the little hardware and nuts and bolts. Looks like it's all new. Up front, it's a custom grill, and this is all beautiful. The original was like an anodized. This must be chromed. It's just brilliant. Uh, they look like HID headlights. The lenses, the bumper's been redone. Even the wiper arms are shiny. New windshield and rubber gasket. It has uh, some special uh, inside the cowl here, a nice drilled aluminum insert in there. All the lenses, emblems, bow tie mirrors on each side, new door handles. 
The three windows are smoked glass, they're new. If you notice, it doesn't have a vent window. I think it's supposed to have a vent window in 69. Uh, it's a nice clean look, they removed the vent window. It's a step side, of course. Some nice 17 inch billet specialty wheels with Nitto Performance tires. They're nice and wide back there too. They're real wide actually. New tail lights, reverse lights, again, new hardware, chrome. It's got a custom tailgate. It's got these nice little pins, retractable pins that you pull out. Inside the beds painted just as nice as the outside, all stainless hardware, refinished wood with stainless strips. The gas has been relocated from behind the seat to back here, and there's the filler. It's flush mounted to the floor. I drove this truck home. It drives every bit as good as it looks, too. I mean, really, it's, it's amazing. So the interior was completely gutted. All the metal was painted, same as the outside of the truck. New carpet on the floor, the pedals up under the dash, all that looks redone. The seat's completely new or rebuilt. The cushion, the spring, all of it's excellent. Houndstooth upholstery. They upgraded with retractable uh, shoulder belts. Yeah, a lot more to tell you about in there. Here's one thing that I'm not thrilled about. You gotta reach under here for this uh, hood release. Beautiful. There's more of that beautiful blue. Uh, it's a 383 stroker motor. We have the name of the shop that built it. Aluminum heads, aluminum intake, a giant quick fuel dual feed carburetor. And again, like I was saying, the fittings, the lines, and all the throttle linkage is all premium stuff. Complete MSD ignition system, uh, headman headers, really nice polished finned uh, air cleaner, matching valve covers, breathers, and matching plug wire holders. Getting back to the inside here, new door panels, power windows, new handles, has the overhead headliner with the speakers built in, new mirror, new visors. All the chrome on the dash is new. It's sparkling. The vents, the heater control panel is new. It looks like the original, but instead of cables, it's electric, so they slide real easy. Beautiful polished tilt column with a custom wheel, polished uh, smooth levers as the indicator for the overdrive. Beautiful set of uh, classic industries gauges. They have a vintage look. Uh, but modern, has a quartz clock, tachometer, they light up real nice. Uh, it's got a retro stereo. In the engine compartment, it's a B-Cool aluminum radiator, dual electric fans, aluminum uh, water pump, polished overflow bottle, has billet uh, hose clamps. Actually, the overflow is on that side. This is a remote reservoir for the modern power steering, which also has stainless braided hoses. The whole front of the motor uh, has the billet, brackets, pulleys, serpentine belt, a polished one-wire alternator, a polished mini AC compressor, power brake system. All the wiring's new. The washers are hooked up. The battery's new. I mean, it's just spotless in here. It's just done so neatly and so tastefully, too. I wouldn't change anything about this truck. It's like I ordered it myself. It's just, it's awesome. I wouldn't change that sound. Oh, that's nice. I don't see how anyone could buy this truck and not be happy. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It looks amazing. I drove it. It drove amazing, really. There was no quirkiness at all. I didn't even have a small punch list for the shop. It was just amazing. Go to volocars.com. I gave you my honest impression of this truck. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. If you have any questions, they will do their best to try and answer them for you. They can also get this shipped anywhere in the country. We have financing available. They can make it real easy. Go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.